Hello, Belovers. Erica Gila here. Today, I'm going to tell you why going to college is very important. Keep watching! Hello, Belovers. First things first, I wanted to share with you your new title. <laughs> Instead of saying Beloveds and Lovers, I decided to just merge it into one and say Belovers. So there you have it. Belovers. Use it in your everyday life if you're going to be a part of my tribe. Yeah. How apropos, right? Because I'm sure you wanted to know you know, about my college experience and what I learned in college, whilst also imparting some wisdom on why I think it's important to go to college. So let's get right to it. But first, let's have a strawberry. I don't remember having strawberries this good in college, though, to be honest. Well, I wasn't really into organic when I was in college either, so. Like undergrad, okay, undergrad. I didn't know much about it in undergrad. <laughs> okay, so let's get to it. First of all, I have a bowl of strawberries here. Now I'm only going to use these as juicy fill, which that means is, I just came up with that right away, but. <laughs> but what I mean is like, do you guys remember when I was like talking about, I think it was like charmed or something, like, and I was like eating the cookie dough and I was like, oh, it's so juicy, I have to eat it. So I thought like that would be kind of like my reward for like talking about something really good. You know, hello, that was an intro. <laughs> we'll let it slide. Hmm, I know, so excited. Okay, I think it's important that you go to college because number one, you learn structure, okay? It's very important, especially in life, okay? Number two, you learn responsibility. It's not just responsibility that comes with structure, but trust me, there are a lot of things that you learn in college that you really don't pick up in everyday life. But I'm sure you can pick up the skill sets, but I'm just telling you that the experiences themselves, you don't get anywhere else other than in college. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, drinking in the pub with your teacher or smoking a joint with your teacher because we've all done that, I'm sure. Right. I'm just telling you, it's more than just about the partying, okay? It's more about what you're actually learning. College is really cool because if you go into college with an appetite for knowledge and a thirst for knowledge, you will have the time of your life. If you end up changing your major multiple times, it's normal. And I'm getting ahead of myself, but it's because you end up finding out that you don't like doing this or you don't like doing that, but you do like doing that and you want to do more of that. That's called discovering your passion. I know, it's so exciting. Rewind. <laughs> Number one, you learn structure in college. What I mean by structure is you learn what it is to wake up, go to work, go to school, manage your time uh, by doing your homework, your studies, your responsibilities, your hashtag adulting. I've had friends who did not go to college and no shade to them, but I did recognize that, you know, they didn't have the structure. They did their own thing that kept them busy throughout the entire day, of course, but there was really kind of like a difference in structure. I guess to each their own, but you know, I learned structure. It worked for me that way. I'm not saying that everybody needs to go to college to get structure, but you know, if you're one of those people that lacks organization in their life, college might be the one for you. Number two, it teaches you responsibility. If you're one of those people that doesn't do well with responsibilities, college will ensure that you learn how to be responsible. <laughs> you know, like turning in your project, giving a speech in front of the entire class. But hello, that's like the best part about it though, because I relished in that. Okay, me personally, I did. I loved all those projects. But college really also taught me how to be an individual and to not, you know, fear the educational system, rather to appreciate the educational system. Especially because you're going to college to learn what you want to learn. Like, it's not like you're going, first of all, if you're going to college and you're taking classes and you're doing things that you don't want to do, what are you doing? What are you doing, okay? You're supposed to enrich your life and enculture yourself. That's what college is for. College is for you to learn and absorb things, okay? You get experiences that people that don't go to college don't get, okay? That's why it's called the college experience. You know, I'm just saying. Strawberry! Mm. You don't even know. Hello? That was only one. Whatever. It's organic. Right? I know. I also learned in college that I have a very wide skill set. It's true. You'll discover the things you never knew you knew. You know? <laughs> that deserves a strawberry. You may learn how to make a bong out of like an apple. It's not really, you know, what you want to go to college for. <laughs> Well, hello, of course! You must get a bong story with a college story. It goes hand in hand. Hello, who are you? Okay. I went to San Francisco State University, so it was a very liberal school. It was amazing, but I learned a lot, okay? Now, when I say, like, I learned a lot, I know, uh, first of all, a lot is not even verbiage you should be using because a lot is not any way to describe anything in large quantity other than a parking lot or a lot in which you build a house on or a business on, okay? Or a school. So you can say very much. Additionally, okay, hi, in college. 
Okay. I realized that, well, first of all, I went in as a journalism major. That was like my first initial declared major was journalism because I thought, you know what? I'm going to be like Oprah. I want to like interview the world, right? I switched over to a broadcast journalism major. And then when we had to do projects involving behind the camera and in front of the camera, I realized that I like being in front of the camera more than behind the camera. So I ended up switching my major again to speech communications with a concentration in performance studies, which was more of my focus where we ended up creating a performance for social change and also integrating what we learned through gender theory and speech communication such as nonverbal communication, you know, emotional communication, interpersonal communication, all kinds of communication on how we communicate so I can explain to you what you're saying in the eyebrow. And I can tell if that smize really is a smize or if it's a smize with some rage, some love. You know, it was a great education nonetheless. But I will tell you that overall, like, do I miss that experience? Yeah, because I think I would have done things a little bit differently too. I would have saved my money and I probably would have joined a fraternity because I didn't get to join a fraternity. I didn't even belong. I didn't even know what the fraternity, I, didn't, I don't really know what the fraternities were like in college, to be honest. I didn't feel like I went to a university that you'd find on TV. When I ended up changing my major to speech communications with a concentration in performance studies, that's where I got to learn about nonverbal communication, interpersonal communication, gender theory and communication, um, emotional climate, what your nonverbal is telling me within the nonverbal. You know what I mean? Like, it's amazing. So I really, really am grateful for that education that I got. Following that, I did a little stint at the Academy of Art University for a master's degree in film and television. And my professor told me that I should just be in LA. So I was just like, okay. I like didn't even finish the semester. <laughs> Oh yeah, it was like high school theater. What am I gonna, what am I gonna learn? Really, hello. I mean, I, I get it, I'm not knocking it. This is for people who need to develop their craft. I mean, especially not for like the price they were offering and like I didn't get any special treatment. Like I was not offered anything coming into this program like they promised. So I think I went in there under false pretenses for myself because I thought it'd be like an easy way in when in reality it wasn't an easy way into anything other than self-discovery that you don't need a school to tell you how to be, which is why school is great because it teaches you who you are and who you're not. Now you don't have to waste your money or waste your time going to school if you find that you don't need to go to school. Although I did recently watch a few webcast seminars and listen to some podcasts where individuals actually spoke about how a lot of new companies are not even looking at college graduates. They're looking at people who are actually versed in life experience and not institutionalized academia. However, those of us who already did the institutionalized academia, hello, like, we're useful to you now. And those of you who have not, maybe you can just use the academia to teach you more about yourself and what you like about yourself and what you'd like to learn more about or how to explore your passion, really. Like you can be an art major and just do sculpting and painting. You're at least refining your fine art, right? Like that's what it's about. It's not about just going to college for a promise of a job of tomorrow. Okay, think of going to college as a way to establish, again, structure, organization, and to really develop your passion. That's what it's all about is developing your passion. Really, so go to college for that. Find out who you are. And once I got into Journalism 101 and then I did the like junior college courses, by the way, by by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, left, right, front, center, back, forth, and all around, okay, by the way, if you're gonna go to college, go to a junior college and then transfer to the university of your dream, for real. You're getting the same education everywhere else, except your books will be more expensive at the university. Trust me, the university. I mean, it might be different now, but because everything's like now online, like eBooks. If you're a local, wherever your town is, and they offer a junior college program, and then you can transfer, take advantage of that, whatever to you. If you're like, oh, but then that means I have to be home for two more years. Suck it up, okay? two more years but you know when you go to college number one you won't be in debt as much as you thought you would be if you went to a full-on university because the majority of your friends end up going straight to a four-year university right out of high school not all of them graduate not everybody drops out but i will tell you that the majority of the people that i spoke to that i kept in touch with through the grapevine i found out that they ended up like not even finishing their programs you know i think it's the smarter thing for you to do and for your parents for your financial aid situation and whatever situation do the junior college program first and then transfer and that way it'll give you two Two years to figure out what it is that you want to do with your life, right? So if you're taking the gen, first of all, the first two years of college anyway are going to give you the general math, English, science, and history, all the general stuff, plus an elective and enrichment courses that can enrich your spirit and your life and your soul, right? So if you're going to be taking classes that are going to be hypothetically taking of your time, go to school for things that you love to do, okay? Enroll in the classes that you like. This isn't a high school where they're making you sit next to, you know, Jake the football player who doesn't really care about class. That doesn't there's a strawberry. <laughs> Only three strawberries left, you guys. I gotta make it snappy. Mm. I see the berry looking at me, and I'm looking right at the berry too. The strawberry's looking at me, and I'm looking at the strawberry too. 
right? Yeah. What else did I learn in college? So I transferred with a journalism major and I'm switching my major from journalism to broadcasting because I realized I wanted to be like a broadcast journalism. Like not just a journalist for a newspaper, but like journalism for like, you know, film and television or whatever. And then I realized after learning all the broadcasting stuff behind the camera, I realized that I wanted to be in front of the camera. And then I switched my major again to speech communications with a concentration in performance studies, holistic health. Like I was supposed to do like a minor in sign language, but the school didn't really offer a program in sign language. <sighs> I took the interpreter preparation program at the junior college. I went back to junior college, which by the way, I have stuff to finish. I have like two semesters left. It might be like three now because I've like not been using it as much as I should. And I really do hope that you are having an awesome college experience if you are in college. And if you are contemplating going to college, I'll be that, um, that little guide on your shoulders saying, do it, do it, go to college, learn, learn, learn. Well, that's all the time I have for now. Till next time. Keep it real, keep studying, believe in yourself, and keep that knowledge going, okay? Because knowledge is power, and why wouldn't you want to have power? Embrace your intelligence. Go to school, follow your spirit, do what you want. Just embrace your you, and paint with all of your colors. Okay, I love you, I'll see you in the next one, bye. By the way, do you have a suggestion for a video for me? Comment below, I'd love to hear your feedback.